Today, we're gonna to talk about how to create a custom audience with Facebook to use that for marketing ads, and specifically how to upload customer lists, emails, phone numbers, into creating that custom audience to use for those ads. Uh, welcome back, my name is Mac Frederick, and this is another Momentum Monday marketing blog video. And I've been doing digital marketing for about 10 years now, ever since working for Google and started my own agency with Momentum. I'm gonna show you and walk you through the process of creating this custom audience list, uploading that, and then how you can use ads from that list. So thanks for watching, stay tuned, we're gonna jump into it. And if you haven't already, hit that like, share, and subscribe button, turn on that bell for post notifications every week. We're bringing new content just like this. So let's get into it. All right, so let's get started. If you're a marketer or business owner and you wanna target specific people using their phone numbers or emails or some sort of list you created, there's a way to do that and use Facebook, Facebook for business and you're creating a custom audience. So one thing you can do is you, you can just go to Facebook custom audiences, search that on Google. Uh, there's an ad here, or you can go to custom audiences, learn a little bit more about this first before you just jump right into it. Uh, Facebook's had this for a while now and they've sort of cracked down a little bit, but typically you're allowed to upload an email or a phone number list and if it matches to that person who uses that email or phone number for their Facebook account, you can actually target them with ads. I'm sorry, I'm wearing the glasses today. I don't know about these frames, but uh, feeling a little sophisticated out here. Uh, so we're gonna walk through this, how to format the list, best practices, uh, how to upload the list, all that. Uh, if you go to the support page, you can get a lot of help here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just walk us into the account. So we're going to create an audience. Uh, we just did that Google search, we clicked in here. And then you've gotta log into your business account. Uh, give me one second. Sorry, I had to log back in here. You know Facebook's getting crazy, dude. They're just out of control with their security these days, but I guess they have to be. So you're gonna log into Facebook Ads Manager and it should pull up your custom audiences. So first you need to think about like, okay, why are you using custom audiences? Why use custom audiences? Who you want to target? So the reason you would use custom audiences is to hit somebody with an ad, targeting them for a product or service you wanna sell. Specifically in this example, I'm gonna use an email scraper called D7 Lead Finder. And I'm a marketer, so I get to choose the industry or the audience that I wanna target. So if we go back here, uh, we can use the D7 Lead Finder, which is a pretty cool tool. We'll put a link in the description. And you can do a lead search. So I could search for salons in Miami, or realtors in Chicago, or uh, bicycle repair shops in Philadelphia. And so, you know, looking at our history here, I'm just gonna click into one of these uh, looking for salons in Miami. And it does the whole search. It scours the internet and uses Google and other platforms to compile this list. And it gets, you know, business names, phone numbers, emails, websites, social media links. And then you can download this. So we're going to download this in Excel or you could download that into CSV or you could actually download it using Facebook ads. So let's take a look there. So D7 Lead Finder, I'm able to find all these business names, numbers, emails, and download the lists. It even allows me to export it into a Facebook ads file that allows me to upload it properly to be formatted in the correct way so that we can have no issues when we upload it. So now you're gonna go to facebook.com forward slash ads manager forward slash audiences. Make sure you're under the right account. And I'm in Momentum's ad account. But once you're in this area here, make sure you're in the right ad account. And then uh, you can see different filters, but you're gonna click create audience and you're gonna create a custom audience. Now this is gonna pop up a tool where you can uh, basically create an audience from website traffic using your Facebook pixel, app activity if you have an ad, an, an app, a customer list, which is what we're gonna use 
or you can use one of Facebook's initial sources. If somebody's watched one of your Facebook videos, you know, if they've been to an Instagram business profile, filled out a lead form, RSVP to an event, gone to a Facebook page, so on and so forth. So let's take a look here and we're going to choose cut. I didn't know Facebook listings was one. That's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to choose customer list. So it says prepare your customer list. Your customer list is a CSV or TXT file. Uh, identifier such as name, email, phone number, those sort of things. It's got to be first name, last name, email. Uh, you can download the template, which shows you exactly what it needs to look like. So if we pull that up here, um, you know, it's got to be email, phone number. Uh, I got to download a different file so I can show this differently, but uh, there's formatting guidelines or you can import from MailChimp. So, and then you can add a customer value. So let's get started. Let's hit next. Uh, does your list include a custom uh, a column for a customer value? No, we're not going to have a customer value. We don't need to associate a value now. Now you can download the list template, or if you use D7 Lead Finder, you can just simply upload that list. Momentum 360, Salons, Miami. Make sure to name the list whatever, uh, you know, matches what that list is. You're going to upload the file. I'm going to go to downloads, custom audiences, salons, Facebook custom salons. Yep. That's the one we want. Upload it here. Hit next. So now it tries to match everything. Email, phone number, zip code, country. Great. Action needed. Phone number. Some of them don't match. Do not upload city. We'll upload city. We're not going to upload the address though. Do not upload name. Do not upload phone number. Okay. Now we're going to upload and create and then let this, all right, your customer list successfully updated 653 rows. Now what you can do is you can actually create an ad or a custom lookalike audience from this. A lookalike audience basically mirrors all the exact attributes of that uh, custom audience, such as the name, phone number, email. It takes those attributes and finds similar actual people who match the similar attributes of the person who's been matched. So for example, let's say Sarah Smith owns a hair salon in Miami and that was her email we just uploaded. Now it's going to find people just like Sarah Smith, who are business owners in the area, maybe have a hair salon, something like that. And it's going to create a custom lookalike audience. So we're going to click that button. Uh, you want to search for United States only. And you want to name the lookalike uh, US lookalike 1%. I'll explain what the 1% means. Actually, we can just call it that. A number of lookalike audiences, we're just going to use one lookalike with the top 1% that match this exact audience. So now we've created a lookalike. And from this exact audience that we initially created, we can go to actions, create ad. So for here, now what you could do is you could take your phone or computer and just make a quick little video. And I'll say, Hey, my name's Mac. We're with Momentum 360 here in Miami, and we're doing virtual tours for hair and nail salons. If you're interested, swipe up, click the link, schedule a demo, and we'll show you exactly what it looks like to create a virtual tour inside your business to showcase to your customers so that you get more bookings, more appointments, more phone calls, more leads, more customers. Once again, I'm Mac with Momentum 360. Click the link or swipe up, and we'll show you how to grow your business. Now I can take that video. I'll airdrop it right here. So we're going to go down. You can do a traffic campaign, uh, lead generation campaign, messaging campaign, conversion campaign, a lot of different stuff. For the sake of the video, we're just going to do a quick traffic campaign. Miami salons plus lookalikes audiences traffic. Just name it whatever you want. Uh, go here. We'll name this. Miami salons plus lookalikes. We'll just put them all into one ad group. It's fine. Um, use salon 
and the look like. And we're gonna go get rid of that. We just wanna go to Florida by itself. Let's not do anything outside of that. Ages, let's change the age range of just like probably 21 to 50, 55 maybe. Better, better sense of the age of owners, maybe 25 to 55 actually. And all genders, that's fine. Targeting expansion, so on and so forth, blah, blah, blah. You can just do a really small daily budget because your list and your audience is tiny because you're only using a specific sector within this. So now we're targeting salons in Miami and a lookalike of those owners down here in Florida with a certain age range. You could even go female if you want. Uh, more salon owners might tend to be female. Automatic placements, traffic campaign, hit continue. Now you have a video here. You can quickly upload this video. If you want to customize the video, there's you know, a bunch of online resources where you can do that. Uh, you can go over here to single image or video. Uh, you can add an instant experience, add the video. Uh, just upload that real quick. Nothing crazy. Put that in here and then add your text and then publish this ad. You've now created a video targeting a specific ad set created through a custom audiences, uh, custom audience and lookalike audience that you found using a source like D7 Lead Finder. So now this is how you exactly target who you wanna target with the ad that you wanna target them with. And now you can scale this out and replicate it based on city, industry, uh, custom audiences, so on and so forth. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, leave them below. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. Uh, my name is Matt Frederick with Momentum Digital. I hope you found this helpful. Um, I will put links to D7 Lead Finder, to Facebook Custom Audiences, uh, to the actual list file that you need to match. And if you need any help, uh, reach out to us at Momentum Digital or needmomentum.com or needmomentum on Instagram or social media. My name is Mac Frederick at Mac Frederick or MacFrederick.com. I hope this was helpful. We'll be coming back with another episode every single week, and I will talk to you soon.